All right, this is for Serp Serpescu Razvan, and basically he wants just to comment on some feedback here. Um, even though you went a little bit cartoony, what I would say is the first thing I would tell you to do right off the bat is to get a little bit more um, form in there. Um, and what I mean by that is that you've got the shadows and stuff in there, but the problem is there's no real form in there. Um, once you start putting shadows, you know, hand-painted shadows and stuff, pick a light source direction and then um, pick a way that you want that. Um, so, like, like here, we'll just work on this one for now. So, pick a way. Um, that you want your your form to work. So in a in all reality, I'm going to use this as a form. Um, we're going to put a light source from this direction, and what you're going to do is start picking out um, some of the the brighters. Uh, let's do an overlay. So some of the bright areas, like so. And this will start, you know, giving you a a little bit more interest um, in your character here. Um, then again, you want to do the same thing with other areas too. So you know, if you've got that that nice highlights going on you want it matching in other areas um, the things that I would say you know watch out like here you've got you've got this going on but you've got no highlights in there or no shadows in there so it you know can be consistent with everything the other thing too is let's go a little bit darker the other thing too is if you're going to keep the saturated colors go a little bit more saturated and you can see how just by doing the saturated colors you're going to get more form out of it and so pay attention to how you're building your form up um, you can get much better range with just about as much painting here um, and still keep your line work and stuff like that so watch out where your form and stuff goes. From a design standpoint, I would say that um, this arm looks uh, kind of off. I'm going to show you what I mean. So from the the head is here, all right. So you got your head here, and then you really don't have much of a neck. So the torso is coming here. And then, if you look, the torso is coming down, the waist, short waist, and legs, like so. All right? And then he's got the, the hoof boots type of thing going on, like so, which is fine. And then even this arm is fine because I realize that it comes back a little bit and then comes out. All right? But here your shoulder is going to come forward where it's going to be bigger like this and then it's going to come here you need a divider you need something to tell me that that arm is going to bend especially since this one bend and then it's almost going away from the camera you want it to come towards the camera and then the, the blade here doesn't look like it's coming towards the camera um, because it's it's such an odd angle here um, and if you look yours goes this way um, and then you, there's no separation of wrist and elbow bend that a little bit like this and that's why I would that's why I said bend both of them um, if you bend both of them something like this and then thicken the, uh, the hand up here to bulk that up then you can can separate that you would I would almost move the foot over just a hair um, to give you that space that you want because right now what's happening is you're getting a tangent in the middle here um, 
so pay attention to that. The other thing is watch your foreshortening on here. On the, if the blades are going to match, then the issue you have is this one needs to come around like this, circle around, and that makes it look much more like it, it's relationship-wise. Um, and so th that's the, the thing I would say right off the bat on that. Um, the other thing, too, is you're having this, this come up here um, and cut off. Whereas this one, you see it's you see the form in it. This one, you're losing the form. So if you're gonna cut it off, cut it off around the figure. Um, so it's like it's broken, um, splintered off, and then that way you can actually create a little bit more interest because then what you can do is you can take and put uh, your light source here where your the rest of your um, the rest of your 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 piece is sh in shadow here, so and this would be shadowed as well because the way the light source is going. So those are things that I would I would fix as an overall whole. I think uh, the placement of the character, the layout of the character, um, is is good. I like the line work, the the line spacing and stuff like that. I think that's that's a good uh, presentation method. I think just pushing the character a little bit more, especially like you know in your non-shadowed areas, um, get a little bit darker, that type of thing, um, and that'll build up more of that form that you're going for, especially in the face and beard and stuff like that. Um, so, all right. I hope that helps.